Hey everyone, welcome to another Function Fridays brought to you by QTPTutorial.net. I am extremely excited to have everybody here today because we are bringing you another function that you can use for the rest of your automation careers, making you guys that much better as automation engineers because you don't have to write new code because I do it for you. So, last week we discussed a function called get file path, and today I want to show you its sister function that we are going to call get file name. So, this function does exactly as it says when you pass it the full path of some file, it will return you the file name plus the extension. Now, I got to be honest, guys, I got this function from the genius of geniuses in QTP named Tarun Lalwani. He has a few books and I've read all of them and they are phenomenal. If you guys think that I know a lot, I recommend you check out his books because they will seriously expand your knowledge to a whole new horizon. I learned something there every day that I did not know before. And all his books can be found on our website. Let me show you. At qtpsoil.net slash resources, you can just click a link and it takes you right away to the Amazon site where you can go and read about his book. But anyways, we all share the knowledge in our QTP community. And so... That's what we do. That's why I'm here to share my knowledge with you that I've learned from him that he's shared with me. And let's get into the lesson. So let's write up the function. I'm going to make it something shorter. Okay. Next. Just like the last function that we did, set it equal to an empty string. You guys know about this statement if you saw last week's video. If you didn't, you can obviously go ahead and check it out. And then finally, we'll return the resulting string, which is a slightly complicated statement. So check out the right function. It will return a string on the right based on its length. Okay. So what string are we using to return from is this one. And now we need the length. So the length is going to be what? Done. That is the length. The whole string reversed. And then we return the string that is before this backslash. Okay? And so based on all of that, we get the right side. Let's go ahead and run it so that you guys can see it in action. Let me see what file path I can get. Go back to Yahoo, take this, and then let's go ahead and run it. F5, shortcut key to run fast. Guys, please use shortcuts through your automation. It will make you that much more efficient. Oops, excuse me, missed the parentheses. Yes, even I make mistakes. It's no big deal. You just figure it out and correct it. Okay, now we can check it out. This str reverse, what's it going to return us is, oh, you can see it down here. It's just the full string reversed. Okay, and this in str function, these are all inbuilt VBScript functions. What is going to return is all of this right here, okay, before this character. So the result is we get the right side, which is L. The result is we get the right side of all of that, okay? Let me finish up. Oops, excuse me, guys. I made another mistake that I just realized, and it was over here. I had this as a plus, 
and it should be a minus. Check it out. If I have a plus, see, it gives me one extra character right here, okay? If I make it a minus, then I get file name with the extension, exactly what we wanted. So let's quickly go through this again. On error resume statement allows me to proceed if there are any errors, just like if a file does not exist, we can still continue. QTP won't stop and this function will still execute returning an empty file name. Over here, we want to get the right portion of the string and that right portion is the full file path. And then this will be, you can always check out the help, the length. What is the length that we want? Well, it's the reversed string, okay, minus one. And let me show you the reverse string. You can see right here, reversed string, okay, right here, this right there. I can highlight for you. This is the reverse string and minus one leaves it at this whole thing. Plus one makes it this. Okay. And that's it to the whole function. I know this was quick, but not all functions need to be complicated guys. Sometimes the most simple functions are the ones which are the most useful. So we're going to wrap it up here for today. I wanted to thank you all so much for joining me here. We sincerely appreciate it because you guys are awesome. You guys make teaching an awesome experience. And to make this experience better for you guys, we always appreciate whenever you leave us comments on Facebook or Twitter or YouTube. And let us know how we're doing. Because when you let us know how we're doing, we can improve our experience for you. We can bring you the topics that you desire. And we can bring you the knowledge that you desire. You just have to tell us. And we're going to create. Okay, guys? Again, thanks so much. If you want the code, you can just subscribe at our website on qtptutorial.net. And we will deliver this with an awesome explanation to your inbox every single Friday whenever the video is released. All right. Well, that's all. Have a wonderful day. I will see you all next Friday. Take care.